Welcome to Lime Regis Fossils. Come and have a look at what I'm finding along the Jurassic Coast currently. It's been some miserable weather here, really grim and grey. Can you spot anything where I'm heading now with the iPhone? Anything that takes... Yep, do you see the shape there? Yeah. So that's actually a uh, fossil backbone there. That's great. Yeah. You always find like-minded people with similar interests along the Jurassic Coast and Tom is no exception. He's really diligently looking for fossils and antiquities at low tide, especially on the 2008 landslide. And look what he's found here. Well, I hope you like that little compilation of finds that have been made most recently along the Jurassic Coast in mid-January 2023. And I'm here in Lyme Regis. I'm just going to go out and go collecting out along the beach at low tide east of Lyme Regis. There are some amazing Areotites Bucklandi and Coroniceros ammonites in the walls around Lyme Regis to see. And I'm here on this really grim day, as I've said, really wet and rainy. And I'm heading out. I'm going to show you the watercourse, how it's in spate at the moment. The water's pouring down the River Lim and I'll just go up into town and show you a few pictures around town before heading out and showing you some fossil collecting today in the middle of January and I'll see what I can come up with with the sieves and I'll use the sieving and shoveling technique on the beach. So let's get out there and see what's being washed out by the sea's action. It's always nice to go past the Mary Anning statue as you head out through to the East Beach and that is Mary Anning there, the statue of her in a really grim setting and here looking back, back before Christmas, there was a lovely rainbow next to Mary Anning so you see her on different days as you walk out. Look the lights are even on there, it's such a poor day. Right in the middle of the day I'm heading out but the weather's that bad you can see how grey it is and the water courses are absolutely pouring out, direct runoff off the land. I'm gonna show you a bit of the ammonite pavement as I head towards this area called Black Ven. I'll pass the 2008 Lyme Regis landslide where it's all falling and show you some of the movement in the mudslides and the cliffs. I stay away from the dangerous cliffs because they're dangerous and liable to fall suddenly and without warning. Look at all those lovely limestone ammonites there, probably having died out because there was some volcano nearby or some chemical imbalance in the water back in the Jurassic. So I'm heading out past church cliffs. I'm keeping away from that particular area. You hear big lumps of the limestone falling down onto the beaches there constantly as you walk out. I found a para ammonite. That's one that are quite prevalent along the beach and you can find them there on the surface. I'm gonna scrape through this pyrite patch and see if I can get one of the really nice little ammonites called Promicroceros. There's an absolute beauty. I'm really pleased with that today. And that was just worth coming out for in itself to get a really perfect pyrite ammonite find like that. That's a good one. And you can see the detail there on that side flip it over there's a bit of mud to actually have to scrape off the back there I'm there putting the fossil bearing material in the sieve giving it a shake taking out the big bits that don't mean anything the bits of pyrite that are large in there you can just throw away you can see that's not an ammonite straight away that big chunk and this is a bit of sieving for Susie she likes the sieving videos that I do along the Jurassic Coast and there's another one looks very similar to the one before I'm really pleased that's a sort of brace of good Pyrite ammonites there, little golden nuggets of delight that you find along the Jurassic Coast at low tide. The best thing for you to do is go an hour before low tide fossil collecting and an hour after. Get a tide table book that are served up in town and look at the tides to see the correct time to go out on the beach and look for the fossil finds. There's the pyrite ammonites and there, compared to the pyrite ammonites, is one preserved in beef rock that's one in fibrous calcium carbonate. So there's a comparison there of those different ammonites. Another one in beef rock. You find numerous ones like that and that keeps the kids happy. You can see there part of that old building there, probably part of the sort of pillboxes that they had to defend Lyme Regis. That looks like the base of one. And you can see it all falling down in the background there, all that rich 
Lias mud falling down, landslipping onto the beach and forming a kind of sort of glacial flow that comes down across the beach at Blackven in numerous areas. You must stay away from those mudslides in terms of walking on top of them. Sometimes they're liquefied and you can fall right in. I've had to dig quite a few people off the mudslides in the past and that can really, really be a problem. So look at the mud falling down these areas onto the beach. You can see that quite often now because it's been so wet, such inclement weather we've had in Lime Bay. And here you can see quite a big piece of an ammonite, a chunk of iron pyrite ammonite washing out of the mudslide, the sea doing the work for you, washing the fossils out so you can just pick them up freely as you go along the beach at low tide looking for them. The sea will do the work for you night and day. The attrition of the sand and sea actually grinds them out really nicely. Look at that there in the distance. Do you see the mudslide there? You see the sort of paper shales fluttering down and then as they flutter down, bigger chunks fall off and more and more of that will come down in the slippage because the rain has been so prevalent it's really getting into the mudslides and washing down onto the beaches. The rain comes down in watercourses, comes down in the mudslides, it gets stored up behind in the cliffs and then forces rock falls and landslides. Here's a lovely chunk of fossil wood, monkey puzzle tree from the Jurassic era. There is church cliffs you can see and up in the cliffs back along there was that really lovely ammonite there, Eratites bucklandi, but that too did fall down onto the beach in a large chunk and look at it now today eroding away every day you can see that ammonite at the start of the beach. I don't go anywhere near the cliffs but I sort of zoom in on those fossils to show you what erosion's going on. I'm wandering back into town. I'm going to show you an area called Broad Ledge. You can see out there in the distance. The old quarrymen mined a whole headland away there. It was an amazing sight to see and then they mined away the limestone blocks because it had good hydraulic properties for making marine cement. The cement was particularly good at setting underwater so they used all that limestone rock back in the day and there was a cement works in Lyme Regis itself. So quite an industry going on there. Look at that lovely sea wall, that break there. And as I walk into town, you can see the pigeons flying around the museum tops and uh, I'll walk and show you the River Lim. Well, for my fossil collecting followers that have to have a beer every time I mention the word Jurassic Coast, I do apologize for this little fossil walk. Even though short, I think I mentioned Jurassic Coast quite a lot. Thanks very much for watching.